Hi everyone, welcome on my channel. Today we are going to dive into how to add custom textures to blocks on your Minecraft server using the Oraxen plugin. Custom textures can add so much personality and style to your server, so let's jump right in and see how it's done. Oraxen is a powerful Minecraft plugin that allows you to add custom textures, models and sounds without replacing vanilla textures. It's perfect for making unique blocks, weapons and even custom items. First, let's make sure you have Oraxen downloaded and installed on your server. You can get Oraxen from Polymart or Spigot page. Just download the plugin and add it to your server's plugins folder. All the links you need are down in the video description. Next, we will configure Oraxen to recognize the textures and apply them to specific blocks. First, you need to add your custom texture to the plugins slash Oraxen slash pack slash textures slash blocks folder on your server. Let's go over this step by step. Place the texture file you want to use right here and make sure it has a clear name, like marble.png, that you will reference in the next steps. Now let's configure the block in Oraxen. Open the blocks.yml file located in plugins slash Oraxen slash items. Here we will add the block's name and link to the texture you just uploaded. Let's take a look at the different settings you can use for custom blocks. Let's go through each line of code and see what it does. First, we have marble, which is the unique identifier for our custom block. This name will be used in commands or when setting up other configurations. Next is item name marble, which sets the display name of the block in Minecraft. Here it's set to marble, so this is what the players will see in their inventory. Then we have material paper. This defines the base item used for the custom block. Oraxen uses specific materials to create custom textures, even if they don't match the item's appearance in the game. Under pack, we have settings that determine how the block will look in the resource pack. The generate model true line enables automatic model generation for this block, and parent model block slash cube all sets the base model, meaning it will use the same texture on all sides. Textures blocks slash marble points to the texture file, matching the path in plugins slash oraxen slash pack slash textures slash blocks, where the image is stored. Custom model data 200176 is the custom model data ID for the texture, which must be unique to avoid conflicts. Moving to mechanics, this section defines how the block behaves in the game. The notebook mechanic assigns the block to act like a notebook, and within this we have several subsettings. For sounds, block sound specifies sounds for when the block is broken or placed. Break sound, block stone break, is the sound when the block is broken, and place sound, block stone place, is the sound when it's placed. The custom variation 76 line sets a unique custom ID for the block to avoid conflicts. Model marble refers to the model configuration name for the block. Hardness 15 defines how resistant the block is when mined. Under drop, we have mechanics for how the block drops. Silk touch false means silk touch isn't required to collect it, while fortune false indicates fortune enchantment has no effect on drops. Minimal type iron requires at least an iron tool to mine, and best tools pickaxe specifies the best tool to break it. Finally, loot defines the drop items. Oraxon item marble specifies that this custom marble item will drop, and probability 1.0 means it has a 100% chance of dropping. By setting these options, we control the texture, sound and drop behavior of our custom block. Let's save these changes and see how our custom marble block looks in game. After saving the config, reload the Oraxen plugin by using the slash Oraxen reload all command. Once the resource pack loads, you should see a custom texture for the block. And here it is, our custom marble block, fully textured and ready to bring a unique look to the Minecraft game. 
If it doesn't load right away, make sure to double check file path in both your resource pack and config files to catch any typos. And if you are still having issues, take a look at your server console for any error messages that might help you troubleshoot. And there you have it. Now you have added a custom block texture to your Minecraft server using Oraxian. The possibilities are endless, so get creative and try making textures for all sorts of blocks. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below letting me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!